G'day YouTube, it's Marty from Music Video Master. This is my music DVD collection, and this is me enjoying my music DVDs on my own home server on my smart TV in my living room. This is awesome because I have my own curated collection of music videos that I can watch hassle-free without even putting discs in and out of the player. And the best part of all this is it's completely free. How did I do this? I'm gonna show you in this video. Welcome back to the channel where we believe that music is better on DVD. Now I did say that this process of putting your physical media music video collection onto a home server will not cost you any money, but I am assuming that you already have a computer and that you also have some kind of external storage for the computer, like an external hard drive. You also need to have a suitable disk drive, such as a DVD or Blu-ray reader, which you can use to transfer the physical media into a digital form. The first step is to rip your video content from your DVD or Blu-ray discs into an MP4 video file. And I won't go through that in this video. I have another video where I explain step-by-step step how to do that and that's also free as well, assuming that you have the hardware. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I set up my home server using Jellyfin. Before you start, ensure that your external hard drive is completely blank, except for a single folder entitled Music Videos. Within this Music Videos folder, you should have subfolders labeled according to the artist's name. And inside these folders, you can place your ripped MP4 videos. Once again, you should refer to my other YouTube video entitled How to Rip Music Videos from DVD. Now let's set up the home server. First, you need to download and install the Jellyfin server on your computer. In my case, I'm going to download the Mac version. I'll leave a link to the download page in the description section of this video. Download and install the current stable version of Jellyfin Server. For a Macintosh computer, it's going to be a .dmg file. You'll need to create a Jellyfin account using an email and password. Next, Jellyfin is going to prompt you to add a media library. Select music videos as the content type. Edit the display name to call it music videos. Then add a folder by clicking on the little plus sign next to folders. Point to the folder on your external drive which you previously named music videos. There are other initial settings that you'll need to scroll past, but they're not so important so you can ignore them for now. Then click OK at the bottom of the screen. Now you need to confirm the IP address of your home Wi-Fi network. If you don't know what this is, you can check it in your computer settings. On a Mac computer, go to System Settings and select Wi-Fi. When you click on the Details button, it will reveal your IP address. Now, launch the Jellyfin server application. On a Macintosh computer, you can do this by clicking on the Jellyfin symbol right at the top of the screen. Ensure that your smart TV is connected to your home Wi-Fi network. Then, on your smart TV's content store, Search for Jellyfin Media Player. This is the web OS version for smart TVs. But Jellyfin Media Player can also be installed on your desktop computer, laptop or mobile device. The app is going to prompt you to enter your IP address. Start by entering the IP address of your home Wi-Fi network. And make sure it begins with HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Then add colon 8096. Jellyfin Media Player will now connect to your external hard drive with all your music videos on it via your local home Wi-Fi network. Now I can see the title and the thumbnail of all my music videos and I can control them with my TV remote. I can play all or I can choose a particular folder and I can even turn on shuffle. 
Well, that's it guys. Thank you for staying to the end of the video. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel to help me grow, leave a comment. I do read every comment, even if I'm not able to respond to every single one. Thanks so much and please make some extra time this week to enjoy watching your music. See ya.